Hello and welcome to Technical Skills YouTube channel. This is Shafaqat Ali with another video of Android development. So today in this video we will learn how we can create the loading dialog like this. Here is the example that I have created. So when I click on the button it will open the dialog like this. You can use this dialog while authentication or while loading the data. So let's get started how we can create this dialog. So here I have empty project and if I open my build.gradle module file here I did not added any third party library so just close it so open activity main.xml and here we will add the button so here I will change this text view into button and here I give the id so I will give the id simple button because we have only one button So here we will change the text, open dialog and inside main activity we will initialize that button. So here I will create the button, button equal to find view by id. So we will set click listener on this button. Okay, now for dialog we need to create another class so we can use this dialog for our whole project. So right click here, new and select the Java class and here we can call it loading dialog. You can simply give any name and here we have to create few variables. So first variable that is context and second variable that is dialog. Okay, now we need to create the constructor. So press Alt insert in Windows and press the enter. So we have to select on the context and press OK. Okay, now here we will create method. So here I will create the public show, sorry, it's void show dialog. And here we will get the string title that we have to show over dialog so here we will have to initialize dialog dialog equal to new dialog and here we will pass the context okay now we have to attach the layout so dialog dot set content view so r dot layout dot layout for dialog Okay, now we have to create this layout inside XML. So press Alt Insert, Alt Enter to create this layout, and here we have to select the constraint layout. You can also simply go to Resource Layout, and here you can create another layout. So we have to design this layout, and here we will select a card view. So here I will choose card view that is 120 dp and another 120 db and corner radius so here i will choose the 8 db okay now go to design and add the constraint so i will choose the constraint okay now make sure it will be centered Okay, now inside the card view, we have to add another constraint layout so we can design it properly. So make sure you have to select match parent, match parent, and close the constraint layout. Okay, now inside this constraint layout, we have to add the dialog. So here I will create the progress, progress bar. So it will be wrap content, wrap content, and give the ID if you want to give. Okay, now go to design and add the constraint of this progress and right, left, bottom and the top. Okay, now select this progress bar and you have to change the bias a little bit like this. 
okay now we need a text view for title so here i will select a title sorry text view and add the constraint okay now we have to give the id so here we keep id text view now go to loading dialog bar and here we have to initialize the text view so here i will first we have to assign the color so dialog dot get window dot set background drivable so new color drivable and here we have to choose the color so here i will select color dot transparent like this okay now we have to initialize the text view so here i will create the text view so this text view is title and we have to call the dialog dot find view by id okay so here you can see we have id text view okay now we have to initialize the title to this text view so here i will call this title text view dot set text and here we will choose the title okay now we have to create the dialog so dialog dot create and dialog dot show okay if you want to dismiss this dialog you have to create another method so public void hide dialog we haven't need any parameter in this method so we will call dialog dot dismiss like this okay now inside this main activity we have to create this uh, loading dialog bar instance so at the top i will call loading dialog bar and here we simply call it loading dialog bar and here we have to initialize this loading dialog bar equal to new loading dialog bar and this will get the context okay now inside this btn dot set on click listener we have to call method so loading dialog bar dot show and here we have to provide the title so i will add here login or loading whatever you want to add like this okay now run the application and let's see how it works okay our application is successfully running so here is the result when i click on the button you can see here login now you can also use this dialog for loading the data from the database and you can also dismiss at runtime so if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like my video share my video and subscribe my channel see you next video take care